So I think that the findings on the neurotransmitter changes in glutamate and serotonin are fascinating. And I think this is really the early part of finding out what is going on physiologically with visual snow syndrome. So I don't see exactly what we can change clinically right now from that, but we can at least understand that there is a physiological difference in the brains of visual snow syndrome patients. And I think that the future research that builds on this research will help to identify what could be done in a more um, medical therapeutic form. So I think that the neurooptometric therapy that Dr. Shidlafsi and Dr. Sang are putting together is, it's obviously the right answer. I mean, I'm already using that in my practice as well and looking it over, it's basically the same treatment protocol that we're using. So it's good to know we're all on the same path. It's really helpful to understand how this type of therapy, the neurooptometric therapy, can really change how someone's brain functions. It changes their default mode and their default pathways, and it can provide some really significant changes to a patient's symptoms. So it cannot be overlooked how important neurooptometric therapy is. Every neurooptometrist does things a little differently, um, but because I'm part of the same organization that Dr. Shudlovsky is, which is called COVD, College of Optometrists and Vision Development, and that's our international organization that it, where all of the neurooptometrists go for education and for resources. So because we're part of the same organization and we're both pretty involved in that organization, we were already practicing in a pretty similar way and very much research-based. Um, type of therapy. So our treatment protocols are pretty similar. I wouldn't say they're identical, but we are always tweaking our treatments and our protocols to adjust based on the patient's needs. So no treatment protocol for two patients is gonna be the same. So we're always customizing it a lot. I think it's because we're part of a bigger organization that we were able to practice so similarly, even though we're in different states. I'm very interested in the benefits of mindfulness-based cognitive therapy, MBCT. So I can see the potential for benefits. I haven't had any of my patients go through that therapy yet because I've not been able to find anybody here who offers that treatment for visual snow syndrome. I'm very excited about the prospect of it being offered through the Visual Snow Initiative. I think that's a fabulous idea. And um, I have patients who have had similar benefits with different types of therapies. So I have a patient who, for example, had a lot of benefits with pain reprocessing therapy to deal with her migraine pain. And it's a similar idea where you're just changing how the brain is handling the signals. And so it's reprogramming the input that's coming in. Um, so I, I've already seen the benefits there for other patients. And so I think there's so much merit in helping patients cope with their condition.